My parents moved from Malaysia to Australia because they dreamed of a life for their children where we'd have access to education, schools and universities that would just open up a huge world of possibilities. When I was in primary school, I was one of the very few Asians growing up and so I was isolated and sort of bullied and harassed and so I dove even further into just learning and studies because I found joy in there. My interest in maths started surprisingly late. When I was in high school, I didn't find it difficult or challenging so much as perplexing. I didn't have a huge understanding of why I was doing it or how come these answers made sense. It was at university where I actually challenged myself to really deeply understand what are the fundamentals of this subject which I'm gonna now try and teach to children around the country. My first day teaching at school, I walked in and all these hundreds of kids poured into the school grounds and there was just this energy and excitement about where are we going to go today? What are we going to discover? And from that moment, I was just hooked. Well, Mr. Wu always came in um, bouncing in the classroom. He was so happy, energetic. It was an inspiring uh, vibe to be around. Back in 2012, I taught a student who was just in year 10 and he was very, very ill. He was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Immediately, we knew that that he would miss huge portions of time at school. And I thought it would just be so sad for all that I could do to be, here's a textbook, we'll see you in a month, good luck. I took my phone out of my pocket, I set it on a little wooden contraption that I made down in our woodwork room at the school just so it wouldn't fall over, and I hit record. And I just wanted this one boy to be able to participate in that with us even when he wasn't there. I started sharing them online just because that seemed to be the most convenient way for him to access them. And before I knew it, all kinds of other students were having a look at the videos, using them for revision. People not in our class, people not in our school, people not in our country. We've sort of been going towards zero, but in smaller chunks, okay? I want to get there faster, okay? So this time, Tom, what I want you to put in is, and other people can see... Probably the most impressive thing to me about that is that he was able to come up with a decision and go, well, if I do this, this is going to help this kid. And that student graduated. He's long gone, he's in university now, but I realised that I should continue making these videos because they're helpful to students, to parents and teachers everywhere. I've watched some of his videos and I'm just like, okay, I hadn't thought of it that way. I hadn't explained it that way. I've even had a student stop me in class and go, that's how Mr. Wu explains it. A teacher like Mr. Wu doesn't just change your outlook on maths. He changed my outlook on like every learning experience, I guess. It is absolutely an outstanding advocate for public education. He's a wonderful teacher, a great role model for our students. He's a great role model for our staff. I never set out to create something huge or amazing. I didn't set out to achieve something great. All I wanted to achieve was something good. I just wanted to help one person. That's all I was doing. If you have a heart for helping others, if that motivates you, then you'll create something of value and that's what excites me.